Well, happening this weekend, the National RV Show is camping out at the Spokane Convention Center. Crime News' Nathan Hyun tells us more tonight. The National RV Show is underway at the Spokane Convention Center for its seventh year, and I'm told there are over 130 trailers and RVs on display. The summer camping season's months away, but outdoor adventurers are already scoping out the aisles of the National RV Show to check what's new and discounted this year, including the Brandt family. We're going to put it out on Pondere River. We've got a spot. My folks got a spot. We're going to put it out there, try to use it a lot on the weekends, and then if we uh, occasionally uh, go out to a campground somewhere out in Washington or Idaho. Dan Arata, the president of Click It RV, one of the show's sponsors, says they plan on holding five more RV shows in different cities the rest of the year. He says they're expecting to see more than 10,000 people during the five-day event at the convention center. They absolutely love the show. Um, we... Uh, every day we get a live band in here, we make it fun, we get a scavenger hunt for the kids. Uh, it's a, a real pleasant atmosphere. Spectator Ron Cates says he's been a fan of RVs his whole life, and now even lives in one. If it's something that they're really interested in, like we bought ours, we're actually living in ours, so uh, that's why we went to the bigger one. One thing he has noticed this year is that prices seem to be higher, especially for larger trailers. Went up anywhere from twenty to $30,000. But that doesn't seem to be stopping people from checking out what the show has to offer, such as Brent Olson and his family, who are excited to get their new RV on the road. We knew at the end of last season, we're like, we gotta buy an RV for next season. So we started looking right away, basically off season this winter, and we knew there was another RV show next weekend, but we saw what we wanted here. So if you still want a trailer like this, the RV show will be going through Monday. In Spokane, Nathan Hun, Creme 2 News.